I bought myself a new car. trying to get my paper straight or whatever Brent Fayette said. <laughs> hey cousins, um, welcome back to another vloggy vlog. It is Tuesday, November the 15th. This morning I went and got me some coffee from Dutch Bros. Y'all would have seen that in the montage. Y'all would have also seen a few little clips of my car because cousins, I bought myself a new car and I'm super, super happy and excited about my new purchase because I've been crawling for three weeks. Part of the reason why I haven't been uploading, just was not in the mood and was sick. Not sick, but just was a little sad. So yeah, I, before that I drove a 2004 Jeep Liberty. It was red that my Nana got me in high school. Been out of high school for almost 10 years now, so you do the math. Damn. I'm sorry been driving it for forever and literally drove it until I couldn't drive it anymore. Things went south for real for real <laughs> three weeks ago um and I was just like I'm just gonna have to do what I gotta do and go ahead and get me a new car. I can't keep trying to patch it up because obviously it's not working. So <laughs> I did go and get me a, a new car and I'm super excited. I got a 2019 Buick Encore Preferred. It is white with like the black trim, like the rims, the tires and all of that. And her name is Panda. Shout out to my uncle Elliot um, for helping me name her. Drives real smooth. I just love her. Um, and just super excited to be rolling again because it's been a journey. I really have been looking for a car since July, but you know, life just be life in it. So now I was finally able to get me one. So yeah, there's that. I'm just, I'm just super excited because if you know, you know, for the people who know me personally, if you know, you know, um, this has been a journey. Like I said, it's Tuesday. I went into work for a little bit after I got that coffee just to do some necessary things like faxing and stuff like that. And then I went and grabbed lunch with Khadijah at Tiba Grill. Oh, so good. And now I'm back home. Um, I'm gonna finish out my shift at the house <laughs> per usual. And then I need to go to Target to get a few groceries and a few household things. So we'll do that a little later. I just want to share the exciting news because whew, it's all I can say. Whew. That's all I can say. Other than being carless for the last three weeks, nothing has really been going on. I've been trying to do a few little TikToks here and there. If you're not following me on TikTok, it's always in the description box below so that you can check me out on there. I do little mini vlogs on there and a little bit of fashion content from time to time. So yeah, but now hopefully we're back to regularly. I can never say the word regularly. <laughs> regularly scheduled programming I think that's how you say it <laughs> hopefully I can stick with it and be consistent and finally get a schedule going you know with uploading and stuff I'm just about to continue my work day got an hour and a half left and then we're going to target so I'm in target now Okay, y'all, so I'm leaving Target. I stopped and got me a matcha as well. Um, I'm gonna head back to the house. I have got to get a car mount because I wanna vlog in my car like I did before. I had intentions to look at one in there and didn't, but I have got to get a car mount because holding this, it's not gonna work. Granted, I'm not doing it while I'm driving, but still. I can't believe I
Thursday. Um, today the 18th or the 17th? Um, it's the 17th. Y'all yeah, look a mess. I straightened my hair last week and it didn't really do too good. So I just been wearing it in like a ponytail. I'll curl it a little bit, but I think I'm gonna put a wig on for the remainder of the week. <laughs> I just got done making me some avocado toast. Y'all, the way this has me in a chokehold is insane. Like I love it. I get the sourdough bread from Target and then avocados from wherever I can find some good ones. I caramelize some onions and I just uh, fry my egg in some pesto and I top it with some sriracha mayo. Now the sriracha mayo can be a little bit much to some but I love it on this toast. So that's what I'm eating for breakfast and I got me a nice crisp water. If you know, you know I let it grill on TikTok. <laughs> and I'm just working per usual but um, let me taste this. Let me see what it's hitting for today. Mm-hmm. And that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so good. After I get through talking to y'all, I'm gonna resume watching Kyra vlog that she uploaded last night. I'm gonna talk about something real quick that's been on my mind heavily. Y'all, I'm starting to hate the internet. Like, social media, like, I'm so irritated. However, I can't stop scrolling, which is awful. Like, I need to practice put my phone down we take in so much on the daily as far as media in general it just becomes a lot and it becomes overwhelming like oh my god like i deleted my instagram or not deleted it i deactivated it but reactivated it within 24 hours because i was like i may miss something what if a brand will reach out to me like oh my god like I'm starting to hate the internet more than I like the benefits of it and the good that comes up from it. But it's just, it's becoming so much, y'all. We get to see people getting killed on it. People by, uh, bodies, like, people being murdered, like, oh, sickening. It's sickening. Like, it's sickening. And it's really starting to mess with me. And so... I just think I need to to find some balance, but yeah, that just the internet is becoming truly overwhelming with what's being posted and uploaded daily. Like, ugh, like my head literally starts to hurt. It just be so much. I, I don't know why every time I want to talk to y'all, I can never like put my thoughts into words. Like I be, it's like I'm rambling and I can't ever find the right words to say. But hopefully y'all be understanding what I'm trying to say. That's why I don't talk as much in vlogs because I just feel like in my mind, I'm like, I have a topic and I have something I wanna talk about. But as soon as I open my mouth, it's like the words just don't translate. So <laughs> yeah, that's why I don't be talking much in my vlogs. Like about like things, you know, other than like what I'm doing. Oh yeah, before I let y'all go, so I've already seen Black Panther Wakanda Forever. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. I think it was really, really good. Like, absolutely loved the, the movie. Like, loved it. It was so freaking good. Like, seriously, I encourage everybody to go see it. Boy, those actors and actresses did an, an amazing job. Seriously, Ryan Coogler did an amazing job with this. Cause I, you know, everybody's wondering like, what, how is he gonna top this without chat with Bozeman? And I, I, did, I think he did it justice. He did really well, but I want to go see it again because I missed the first like 15, 20 minutes of it. Me, my nana, and my brother just went like, uh, it was like a spare the moment type thing. We weren't doing that. It was like, Hey, let's go see it. We thought like it was going to be a whole bunch of previews, but it really wasn't. So when we got there, the movie had already started. So I may go and see that again tomorrow, which is Friday. Um, I'm not sure yet, but I, I'm gonna see it again eventually if I don't see it this weekend. It is an almost three hour movie, but it was it was worth it. It was really worth it. So if you haven't gone to see it, go ahead and see it because it's that good. <laughs> okay, y'all, it's Friday night. Um, I've been out and about and back home. I've been out looking for some freaking black boots because I just need black boots in general for this time of the year um don't know why i just thought about it and then also i'm taking some pictures tomorrow for instagram just because i haven't posted in a minute and i put this outfit together that i think is really cute i'll show y'all tomorrow once i put it on but i don't have any shoes i wanted to wear some boots but i gotta get wide fit because of my left foot swells often and it's a little bit 
wider due to an old injury that I've talked about I feel like a million times on this channel <laughs> um so yeah I just been out and about looking for some freaking boots because I just really feel like that'll be best for this outfit I have my two pair of converts I got the the regular platform ones and then I have the run star hikes but I just it's just really not giving so I gotta figure something out so maybe I'll go back out again tomorrow to try to see if I can just find me some on the other side of town because definitely didn't find nothing on here they had size 11s but they weren't wide fit and i just could not get this left foot in it it was just really blowing me today so i took a break from that reason why i came on here is because yesterday when i was telling y'all that i got to find some balance in my life and do some other things in regards to how i spend my time rather than being on my phone all the time i did forget to mention i am starting to read more besides my bible I have this book here it's called nobody knows the trouble i've seen um the emotional lives of black women it is by inger burnett ziegler or ziegler but y'all this is a really good book um i have to take breaks like i'm not even halfway through it um i try to read a chapter a week because it gets very um heavy and can be a bit triggering in some of these chapters because you don't realize how many other people are going through some of the same things you are going through or have been through or have experienced and so this is a good read it's just a bit heavy and kind of triggering so i just be having to read this and take it in moderation because it could be a lot it's a good read it's a good read so if you guys want to check it out check it out so that's probably what i'm about to do it got me a little drink um because i stopped by target try to find some boots there and didn't so i got me some of that glorious margarita mix the strawberry one and i'm just gonna drink me a glass read my book and then i'm probably gonna go to bed i want to see black panther again tomorrow didn't go tonight so we're gonna go during the day tomorrow and then i'm gonna take some instagram pictures and i'm gonna take y'all with me i'm gonna try to take them by myself with my um tripod and see how they come out but i'm gonna have my brother with me for backup because yeah i'm trying to take them at night because i don't really ever take pictures at night and i want to try that so um yeah <laughs> all right y'all so look at this hairstyle it is so freaking cute so i just got done getting ready because i'm about to go take me some pictures i wish i could show y'all my full outfit right now it is just really dirty in my freaking room so i'll probably put a picture up here so y'all can see or i'll just take y'all with me um as i take the pictures so y'all be able to see my outfit that way but yeah i just i look like this is my new favorite hairstyle probably gonna wear this until thanksgiving is over it just gives okay <laughs> made it down to the garage but take my pictures real quick i'm gonna try to see how i can set y'all up so y'all can see some of this y'all sales Okay, y'all. So I'm back home. Pictures came out fire. They on Instagram. So go ahead and follow me on Instagram to see those. So I'm about to eat my Sunday dinner, which ain't nothing but a burger and some fries. And then a little later, I'm gonna take all this off and um, take me a shower and go to bed. I kind of want to show y'all my shower routine, so I may include that to end this vlog off. I'm not sure yet. I look insane with this bonnet on. 
her behavior. <laughs> so I just got out the shower as you saw. Oh, it was so good and it was much needed. Got me a glass of wine, got my two bottles of water on standby because I ended up drinking those throughout the night. So yeah, I showed y'all my shower routine. The only thing new about it is I now cleanse with the Dial antibacterial soap first and with a wash towel instead of like a loofah or anything. Really going back to my roots because my Nana's mother, that's all she used to keep. And that's what I used to bathe with when I was younger. So just went back to my roots. I like that a lot better. I feel cleaner actually. I, I do really feel cleaner doing that first before I go on with the body wash and whatever body scrub I use. And then I'm using the same feminine wash. So nothing really changed but that. And I just switch out my scents, you know, during the different seasons. Then of course I went in with my oil my lotion and my smell good which i showed i'm tired as you could probably hear in my voice um just like to drink this wine watch living single and i'm going to bed i hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog of course if you made it this far then you already know baby girl we're family hey auntie so cousin i'm gonna need you to go ahead and like comment subscribe share and hit that bell so you can turn on your post notifications and be notified every single time your big cousin uploads i love you guys and i will see you in my next one peace out bye bye